Hi, this is Monty with Stampin' in the Tetons. It's been a while since I've done a video, but I thought I would show you guys how I did my um, CD um, holder. Em it's kind of a CD holder envelope thing that you can put CDs in. Um, I used it for the base of this um, mini album that I did. And so here's a little bit of instruction on how you do it. Um, I guess I'll show you a quick look at the album itself. Um, I put the CD folders together and then um, I put the pages together, decorated them. I have a little flap here so you can decorate, you can open and close it, you tuck your um, uh, photo mats in behind there and other pictures if you want. I decorated both sides. Um, this side has a, another envelope um, die that I have, a uh, Sizzix die that I have that I decorated the outside of it and put it on there so you can open it up and put some more photos inside of there. This side I made a little pocket that I have, a pocket die that I had, and then I put a tag down in it. And then of course we got the, over here on this side, we got another um, photo mat that you can pull out from inside there. And sorry I'm trying to do this one-handed, I don't know where the uh, tripod is to put this on, so anyway, I decorated the flaps also, front and back. This is the other side, just a plain piece of paper on their side and did some Tim Holtz um, tissue paper on that one and then um, a die cut. Some more die cuts here, another uh, tag that you can pull out from inside there and then I just, and I don't even know what the measurements are on this, I just kind of eyeballed it and you know just used my pencil and marked it. And that's how I cut it out, rounded the edges. There's another side of that one, just a, a spellbinders die cut on that one. And some of those little veneer wood birds, I stained those with some, um, oh, what do you call it? Some of this stuff, tattered angels, glitter mist. Um, this um, folder, I left all the sides up so that you could um, open it all the way up and have the flaps all being uh, decorated. You can still put the um, mat in there on the side. And you can and you can do there's all different options. You can have this like I've done on these other all the other pages. You can just have this open uh, um, to the side. If you'd rather you could turn it um, this way and have them all open up um, from the top and then stick your stuff down in it if you want. Or you can have a combination of top and bottom and or some of them you can leave open, leave like this one. How I, I liked how this um, kind of all folded up together and then I put the tie there to tie it together if you want. Um, so then you can just untie it and open it up and see the, the thing inside there. I actually got the whole through this part of it here, um, which it shouldn't be through there. It should have it on the other side of it so it can open up the full way, but anyway, that's the way it's supposed to be. So it kind of gives it a neat look how you can have all four. So it's totally up to you whether you want to do, you know, all four of them open or two of them open. You could just, you could tack down, you know, the two of them and cover this, the bottom up with, with these and just leave two flaps open or close these two up and cover and put your paper over this and then have your two sides open um, or you can just leave it and have just the one side open like this or you can have a combination of all the different things so it's just totally customizable to whatever you want it to look like so that's that one that's the back page and that one's just um, I just covered it. I used my um, corner punch that has that you can stick photos up underneath it, and so that's what I used to do the corners. And then I had this um, acetate um, thing that I cut and put in there for decor over the top of the doily and the the tag that I had there. So anyway, and then I just cut, took my hole punch, 
and I punched a hole in each of the edges, I mean each of the corners, so depending on where you want it to hook at, because um, mine's opening on the side, that's where I made mine. If you want it on the top, if you want it to open from the top, then maybe you might want to, you know, put it, you know, your holes down here or on the bottom or maybe even, you know, on the side. You can still put it on the top, you're just going to want to make sure, and I learned this the hard way, um, um, cut your holes punch your holes and put your little things on and make sure you don't have your um, <laughs> your photo mats that slip inside. Make sure you have those pulled out when you do that. I did mine after I had it all done and so then I had these already inside there and this is what happens when you have that inside there and you cut it I mean, you do your hole punch and so it leaves a little hole. So anyway, just remember to do that before you um, just take the, the mats out before you, you punch it. So these are all just, and then I just put the ring through it, um, tied some fibers and ribbons and charms and, that, and flowers off the edge, and, and then I just decorate each page, and of course that's totally up to you how you want to arrange it. I got some bling down here, I tied some tulle around this one, and then a little piece of twine, and it's just the colors and the designs of this the paper that I used, which is a uh, My Mind's Eye, a Lost and Found collection, um, it's just really pretty. So you don't have to do a whole lot to it. I added, it's, you know, a lot of kind of vintage-looking things with lace and and beads and you know um, some bling here and and just different things. So um, has a real cute look to it. So let me show you real quick how I, I put those um, folders together. So you just take your folder. And it just folds it up. It's, it's already, um, what do you call it? Um, <laughs> it's already like creased right there, uh, that the folders are. So you just um, fold them in, and however you want to fold them in. And then you're going to, um, so like if we're just doing the open on the, this end, like I had in most of my pages on the album, you're just going to take the one side in and run some tape down this edge and down this edge and you're just going to fold this up and fold that up and those will be glued down together okay and then you're going to take your paper and it's cut to a um, I cut the papers that cover the folders to a five by five or five and a half by five and a half size and that covers it like that, so you can see. So once you get those those three the sides um, taped down, then you just add your paper over the top of it. And, and so I would I would glue all. Um, what I would do is run your glue or your tape, whatever you're going to use, down this side and down this side. This, you know, so you're going to put it down all the sides, down here, here, here. And then for this part that's going to be up here where it comes over, I would just put, because it's going to be up here where it's going to be slipping underneath it, just, um, I would just run your, I would have your tape on, on the black, on the CD part, and make sure you have it in a little ways from the, from the edges about, well, just depends on how, make, how big you make your, your thing, your mat that covers it. But you're going to want to come in from a, a little ways from the edges, probably you know, quarter inch, half inch or so, um, from the edges, and put your your tape down on these three side on these three sides, so that um, you leave this side over here open, so that you can slide your mat down in there. And what I did um, on mine was I took my circle punch and I just cut a half circle off right here to give it the the place to pull out your tag from inside. So, and then that's that's basically all you do. And then you're just gonna, if you want, you can like I did. I decorated these uh, these flaps on both sides, and I just laid my paper on there and just kind of marked with a pencil on, you know, just gave a gave a little bit of border. And that's that's all I did on it. Um, and then you can just once you have that all down, you have your, your paper in here, you know, covering covering up. It's very hard to do one-handed. <laughs> Uh, once, once you have it all in there, then you're going to take your mat and just slide it, slide it in underneath there, and then you're going to do that for each page, and just, and then you just turn it over, 
and you're going to be and you're just going to decorate the back just so the back side is just going to be flat. And so you just put your paper over it to cover it and leave your border and then decorate the 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 flap if you want to. And you do that for each page. And then once you're all done, like I say, you just put a punch holes in the in the top here in the corner depending on on the orientation of your book, whether you which way you want it to open. And then put the, your, your binder ring through it, and you're done. So anyway, hope this helps you. Um, have any questions, uh, leave me a message, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.